Hey guys and welcome back to my custom car builds in Grand Theft Auto 5. In these videos I use cars found in the game to recreate some of my real life favourite cars. And in this video I'll be building the Lotus Elise Exige S. So the Exige S is a supercharged version of the regular Exige which in itself is a high performance version of the Lotus Elise. And in game the car that most closely resembles the Elise is the Coil Voltic. This car takes inspiration from the Lotus Elise, but it also takes inspiration from the Telsa Roadster, which um, if you don't know is the electric performance car that shares a, a very similar body shape to the Lotus Elise. So the Coil Voltic is pretty easy to find in game. I don't think you can purchase it, but in both online and off it's pretty easy to find on the streets. It's not the fastest super in the category by a long shot, but it's definitely one of the best handling vehicles in class. This thing hugs the turns like absolutely nothing else. Now one of the downsides of this vehicle is it makes near zero sound, it actually just makes this weird electric whirring noise which you know gets higher the faster it goes but it's a real shame because in my opinion it's one of the best looking cars and one of the funnest cars to drive in game and it just doesn't have that feedback from the sound. It's kind of like the new Formula 1 with those turbocharged V6 engines that just don't sound right. If you watch the Formula 1 you know what I'm talking about. So our goal with this build is to get this car looking as close as we can to the Exige S and I'm going to go with a traditional British racing colour scheme and specifically the colour that the Lotus F1 team has used in the past. So for our primary colour I'm going to use the appropriately labelled racing green which can be found under the metallics and then for the pearl I've thrown a yellow on top of that which really gives it a nice shimmer and it's going to go really well with the rims that we're going to put on it. For the window tint I've put limo but you could just leave this as uncolored if you wanted to, this is just personal preference. For the hood we've got a few options, there's a few carbon options but I'm going to leave it stock because I don't want the hood to be covered and I like the vents on the stock hood, I think they're the closest to the uh, real world Exige. For the wheel type I've used the Uza which can be found in the sport category and for the wheel colour I've chosen bright orange. I know that typically the wheel colour would probably be yellow but the orange goes really well with that yellow that we've put over the racing green on the body paint. For the wheel accessories I've stuck the custom tyres on because this is a sporty track car and it will just help give it that sporty appearance. For our bumper choices unfortunately we've only got one and it's for the front and it's the extreme aero front bumper but it does look an awful lot like the Exige bodywork so we'll go and slap this one on. For the side skirts we do have some custom side skirts in there so go and stick those on. Now because the Exige S is a very fast track car we're going to go ahead and max out all the performance characteristics so the engine and transmission and everything else like that. And last but definitely not least we're going to stick the carbon wing on. Anyway, that's my build for the Lotus Exige S. I hope you guys have enjoyed this build. As normal, I've stuck all my customization options in the description so you can go ahead and build your own Lotus. If you want to leave me a suggestion for this series, go ahead and leave that in the comments section too. But apart from that, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you later. In this video we'll be building the Lotus Elise Exige S. <laughs>